Hey guys, welcome back to our live reaction for Hulk, episode 8. I'm Hulk and Jeremy is Kelly. Hulk, hello. Alright, let's set in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. See, I'm curious, do they actually need to do anything to get stronger before they die? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, was, I was about to ask the same thing. Because in uh, Dragon Ball, Super Saiyan, they basically just get stronger whenever they almost die, right? But here, we don't know if whether the awakened human here, when they are uh, resurrected, are they, are they keeping the same stat as before they die, or they just power up by themselves? Yeah, just like if you keep powering up just by dying, so like... Just keep killing yourself at spawn, you know? <laughs> I guess. Feels oh like no, I'm level man. 1. 100 days from now. Oh no, I'm like oh, I'm so the evil. strongest I'm being in the universe. Uh, I assume because they mentioned they're like awakened heroes, right? I think they said that the term they used. It oh. might be like they gain XP and level up like heroes. I guess so. That means hero, hero doesn't level up by dying. They don't. They don't. Right? Ah, no, no. Uh, it's like they keep getting experience and leveling up like heroes, but they just get the ability to, if they die, they just respawn. So they have to actually yeah. keep fighting. That would be my guess. He's gonna hit the cliff, isn't he? Ah, uh, nope. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh! That is the Grand Witch. I forget they, they have that thing. Ah, the the one preview, we were we talking saw about last, stick, right? last episode yeah. that was like, ah, oh, this might be like Anne's mom or some shit, right? Yeah, I guess okay. that's just Gretwich. Yeah, apparently. Probably she just teleport around. She's the great witch after all. Oh wow. Then, 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 why did? Oh, okay. So now we need to go see her. Well, no problem. We have help here. That's true. Depends on where she is, I guess.
That's because the Earth isn't flat. <laughs> or whatever planet this is. I said I know this Earth. I could have sworn there was like a cartoon movie or some shit that actually had a flat planet. <laughs> I forget what it's called. What the hell? Is that it's the aura? It's a normal house, but what's with the aura, yeah. Hmm. It's this, either an aura or there's some black hole up on it. Whoa! No, it's probably an aura. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, she's so young. Interesting. Huh? Well, that's a usual hit with hat, right? But shorter. Well, it's usually a very wide brim, sort of like this. But it's usually a lot pointier or taller, right? Yeah. It's the other one. It's the other round from this. Yeah. yeah. I guess the other bird take the pointy part of the head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this also have elven ears. For free? Wait, what? That's Where is not Northwest? Why is it Northwest? Why not? Well, if the maps, uh, the other oh, you mean Azudora's demon okay. lord? Yeah. yeah, like when he was using the map and trying to pinpoint the thing, it was all the way up, right? Yeah, like north, not east, yeah, north east, northwest, north, mostly north, from where the demon lord castle was. So. If this was heading to Azdra, this should the witch should be telling them to go south. Well, maybe the map is not pointing north. That could also be a possibility, yeah. Of course, that. Oh. Wait, it Wait walks this, under the this scene. is the thing that, yeah, this is the thing that uh, helped Chris two episodes ago, right? I thought 
I thought it would be like that bird from One Piece. Oh, the North Bird? Yeah. Like, ah, you, you won't know which way to go, but this thing will just keep pointing in that direction, you know? Yep, it's the thing Tell caught. Ah, I don't know. Okay. Okay. You know, this is a pretty big island, huh? Pretty big. Well, not big enough to be called a, a continent, but still a very big island. Yeah. Where are they going? Trapping food, apparently. Outside of the house? Maybe they need to catch it? Oh, it's like Zetsubo Sensei. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You caught a few, huh? Oh. Have we seen that one before? Well, I guess. Bro, yeah, I guess. Did, did you bring, like, uh, what's the thing? Roar, Paddles? Or do you just swim from behind and push the boat kind of thing? Uh, yeah, I think that one's better. Are you coming? Uh, we bird. Oh.
Oh, the Great Witch really does similar, look, look similar to uh, what's the name of Vermilion. Yeah. I thought it's just coincidence, just like in other anime, you know. Well, I did assume she was Anchan's mom or some shit, right? Okay. I guess we'll see. What is that thing eating now that we're, you know, uh, above the water? I think it's broom eating. Uh, oh. The peewee? Yeah. Stowaway! No, no, not, not broom eating. I mean, regurgitating. Re- 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 yeah. yeah. Where is it from? Stress ball, huh? Wait, on, uh, Emilio, do you think this ship has a steering wheel? Good question. Also, what is that? It's a Kraken or something, I guess. It has a round top, though, so... I assume it's more like a giant octopus than a squid, right? Don't do that. Oh my god, that is nice. some extreme speed. I thought that would like break the machine thing. I guess it's broken now. Hmm. <laughs> the translation, man. Yeah. Ah, so now it's just an escort mission with Pee Wee as the escort. Go fish. Yeah, but like, how do you tell which way is facing under the water, though? Oh no, it's not under the water, it shows its head, okay. Oh, there's like ruins under the water. Interesting. It's kind of shallow as well. It's not that deep. Oh, and got past it. Oh, suddenly nice song. <laughs> mm. <laughs> become a sea shanty. How long are you guys on this thing? Well, are, are we going to arrive at the destination by next episode? Are we gonna transition to the rest of the 
chess being in war or something? Aren't they preparing a fight uh, to fight the humans? Us preparing an assault on the humans? Oh, now it's a storm. Look, is that the same thing? I think so. Is it me or is it bigger? It is bigger. And I don't say that. So, yeah, I don't think we'll have next episode. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We might be able to tell from the preview. Okay. You know, I'm actually kind of curious. What's with the flowers on this ending? Yeah, I wonder if they actually have meaning. No, oh, they just put her a flower. Yeah, the entire ending looks kind of like on fertile ground. Well, we sort of know the demon realm is kind of like a bunch of wastelands. So I don't know what this is all about. Huh? They they are on land. But this doesn't look Except like it's the a demon bunch of orc-looking things. Oh wow! No idea what the uh, blue orc-looking things are. I wonder if that means they arrived on land. It's just you know, as we speculated, not the correct land. But I guess we'll see. All right, yeah, that's it for this week's episode of Hulk. We left the, what are you going to call it, island, the castaway place, the the weird land. And yeah, uh, just like last episode, where it's just mostly just the uh, a demon lord army plus the competitors and almost no help and vermi this time it's the other way around it's just help and vermi and no mention yeah. of the other side so yeah look i'm all okay with parallel stories but like ah uh, i feel like it needs to focus more on one or the other or like make them intertwine more uh, just like, yeah, just like meet up at the end or some shit. <laughs> it's sort of like, um, you remember Lord of the Rings? Yeah, which one? Oh, yeah, of course I know. Which, uh, which part I mean? Well, the entire story, uh, past okay. like the first movie. Yeah, when they separate into uh, three groups, right? Yeah, like, okay, every time I watch the movie, it's like, ah, oh, cool, it's like, Aragorn's group, where some shit is actually happening, and then transitions to like, oh, Frodo and uh, Sam and the uh, Gollum. It's like, yeah, this is important. I mean, the story is literally all about the ring, but also, I sort of feel like I want to fast forward this bit. Because, <laughs> like, nothing's happening, and yes, this inter intertwines with the main story, but not in any tangible way until, like, the very, very end, you know? I kind of forget in Lord of the Ring, how do they know how Frodo is doing? 
I mean, how does the other people know how Frodo is singing? They don't. Uh, so when they say, on Frodo, occasion, they on occasion Frodo know. stumbles upon like other people. Like uh, before Frodo made it to Mordor, he met Faramir. Oh yeah. And then That's... when finally Battle of Gondor happens and finishes, Faramir is like, "Hey, I met Frodo." Oh. And oh. when, and yeah, when like uh, they went to Mordor, uh, Sauron was like, "Ah, I've caught Frodo. This is his shirt of mithril mail," and that's it. <laughs> like, uh huh. So where's so Frodo? Shit, yeah. uh, uh, you know, it's we we caught him. <laughs> anyway, bye. That kind of thing. So like, it's entirely like, yeah, we we. We know Frodo is doing his job. We just don't know where he is yet. <laughs> Hell, if we know if Frodo went back to the Shire or not. It's sort of like, uh, God, what is that anime that I love but also hate watching? Uh, Spider. Oh, Kumo. Okay. Yeah, like uh, Kumo was like a really good uh, a Spider anime, right? It's a story about. Oh yeah, but it's the main character being her. a spider. But there is also another story of a bunch of people the sort of guy, related to them. That's all in a, uh, in a I don't know, uh, noble hero academy thing. And apparently they're all connected somehow, except it doesn't get properly connected until the very, very, very end where they all meet up. <laughs> And I was like, why are we having this story? Can we just skip this? Yeah. Yeah, like, make it make it matter that there are parallel stories. I just, that's all I ask. I don't know, maybe so, we'll get back to it, but yeah. And so far, the manga, the manga has uh, almost got to catch up uh, for, for the anime, but... Uh, no, it's different. In the manga, they go with, with the uh, Kumo story only. Wait, so the, the anime the manga, has its own story? No, the manga hasn't hasn't shown the hero story at all. Only Kumo so far. Oh, that is weird. Then. It has it has uh, so far it has shown uh, Kumo meeting with the vampire girl, but she's still a baby. That is so weird. Why is that? A... Is is their story shown in like a spin-off or something? Why would... uh, probably, probably based, it's based on the left light novel, right? Why would the light novel tell it exactly like in anime? That would also make sense, but Maybe still, Maybe the like, is the outlier one. That would sort of make sense, but it's still like very weird that this is important. Yeah. And I was watching it, it's like, are you sure? <laughs> are these important? I don't know. <laughs> Eventually like... they'll be important. It's like, like ah, this is a battle of life and death for the spider. And then suddenly, yes, it's a it's a academy life, a slice of life with a hint of NTR in the air. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure what to expect here. <laughs> Why did we switch from like a battle of life and death of a of a spider versus a dragon into like I think something is happening here, but I'm not supposed... I, I don't think I'm supposed to know what is happening. I can't tell. Why are we watching this? <laughs> Why are we watching school drama? <laughs> here it's different. This is like... Uh, yeah, I guess it sort of feel like Aragorn's party and uh, Frodo's party. They're both like on on different ends of the Earth, or whatever planet this is, doing their shit. And we'll see if they reunite sooner than later. I I mean, I assume we don't need an entire core just for them to meet up again. Right? Uh, right? Maybe. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. Again, I did not read much of Hulk. So, yeah. Right, that's it for now, and we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.